Hi guys, this is Vision Tudor. My name is Nino. Today I'm going to show you Uchimata variations. The first variation, one step Uchimata. Left against right. Why is it called one step? Because we skip the traditional one, two, three steps. Instead, I'm positioning my support foot with my first step. That's the, that's the only step I'm going to take. One step in, break Uki's, Uki's balance, position my hip, it's a hip throw, finish the throw as the classic Uchimata from here. It looks like this. The second variation against left against right, Ken Ken Uchimata, hopping Uchimata. In this case, instead of attacking the hips nice and deep, I'm attacking the leg. Lift to his leg, place my support foot at the place where his foot was initially, and then the rest of the technique is performed with the use of my arms. Pressing Uke's head down, pulling the sleeve across, keeping his leg in the air, and just hopping in a circle. So, hooking the leg and start hopping, chasing, chasing towards Uke. It looks like this. A third variation, Uchimata Makikomi, right against right, same stance opponent. What I need to do here is break break that grip away so it, it doesn't so it doesn't block my turn. Snapping that grip at the same time, wrapping wrapping my own arm around Uke's shoulder, grabbing onto my own lapel, keep it nice and tight. Next thing that uh, it's very likely to happen is going to try to close the distance, get close to me, and it's that's the momentum I want. Uchimata Makikomi, rolling, rolling over, finishing the throw. It looks like this. Like, share, subscribe to our Efficient Judo channel. See you next time.